we are actually seeing three great transformations taking shape. First, there is the transition of economic power to developing and emerging economies. As a result, the people in these markets are becoming more affluent and will expect more in terms of goods, services, and quality of life. Second, in the next 10 to 15 years, we will see a great transformation to a sustainable global economy as we become a planet of 9 billion people with finite natural resources. We'll see more focus on balancing growth with the more efficient use of food, energy, water and materials. And third, we'll see transformation with greater urbanization. Today, 50% of the population lives in cities and that is expected to increase to 70% over the next 30 to 40 years. We will see the emergence of intelligent cities that can deliver innovative solutions to their citizens from waste management to water management. Over the next several decades, we will need more open and more collaborative business models, and we will see more complex networks and end-to-end -end value chains. The creation of truly intelligent cities will require coordination from big infrastructure players, telecommunications leaders, information technology giants, and leading utilities. In our industry, we will see a shift to models based on shared risk and rewards, where the consulting and technology service providers are paid for business outcomes. As business leaders, I believe we have an obligation to find innovative solutions to the massive challenge of youth employment. Developing a skilled and talented workforce is the most effective way to provide jobs and a future to the next generation, while also building a competitive organization. We need to work in new ways with educators and others outside our organizations to find and develop the right skills and talent required to succeed. To quote Klaus Schwab, the next decade will be the decade of talent, where talent acquisition, development and retention will determine success. We are seeing a shift from the old models of corporate responsibility and philanthropy to what we call a convergence economy that is based on partnership. Business is increasingly working in partnership with governments and NGOs to tackle the big issues like education, health and economic development. At Accenture, we believe one of the most important things we can do is to help from new public and private partnerships to address the world's most complex challenges. If we can do that, we will deliver on Accenture's long-standing vision to help improve the way the world lives and works.